this tutorial I'm going to show you how to create um, some cool effects for Godot Engine. Um, I'm going to show you a technique for creating um, effects similar to this effect for example or maybe let's see maybe this effect okay um, this effect too Um, also this effect, there you go, okay, and these, all of these effects are done using the same technique, so let's get started with the technique, I'm going to close this. Okay. So basically start with creating a, a new Godot project, okay, and go to Blender, you have to have a Blender for this tutorial. Go to File, um, User Preferences, under Add-ons, um, search for Extra, okay, and you, you need to enable this add-on. It's there by default, I think. Add curve extra objects. Okay. And after enabling it, um, hit save user settings and, and exit the user preferences. Now shift A to uh, create a curve. Under curve, go to curve profiles, go to helix 3D. Um, right here, you're going to see options uh, for your um, helix object. So, yeah, you can basically do whatever you want here. Uh, set the start angle, the end angle, I'm going to set it as maybe 360 times 5. How much is that? Okay. Um, increase the the resolution maybe a bit. Um, the width, the height. Um, we can do different things, but basically, this is fine. <laughs> now, here in the properties, go to this icon. I'm not sure what's this called, but it's I think it's the curve settings or. Uh, curve data. So, and here under geometry, extrude, ex increase the in the extrude. So what is this? This is basically the path that our the our effect or particle is going to go over. Okay. So maybe extrude it to something like this. You can also do some offset if you want but basically that's good for now now the next step is to uh, UV unwrap this object or first the next step is to actually convert it to an uh, to a mesh from a curve so you have to press alt C and then choose mesh from curve um, and now it's converted to a mesh. Now hit tab to enter edit mode. And let's split this screen like this and go to and open UV image editor. Okay, so that we can make things a bit easier for us to work with. Now here, down here, um, select the face selection and select any face that you want. So I'm going to select this one, for example, and hit U and go here. The last option is reset. Okay. Now select everything by pressing A, then again U and select follow active quads and then hit OK. 
So this is basically what happened. We UV unwrapped it into this straight long path. So we need to shrink it. So um, scale it down. We have to press S and then and X to scale it along the X axis. Scale it down. Okay, maybe more. And GX to move it back to this square. Scale it even more. We're trying to fit these UVs into this square. Scale it down like this. To something like like this. Okay. So this is the third step. Now we need to do some basic texture painting. So let's um, go to actually first select um, this second face here. I want to paint this, these faces. The one, two, three, four, these four faces. Okay, starting from the second face here. Um, I want to paint them. So select the second face. Go to uh, down here. Okay. Switch from edit mode to texture paint. Okay. Now in the properties, we need to add a material first. So add a material. Maybe change the diffuse color to black and, and remove the specular. Okay. But anyways, here in the tools, um, we need to add a paint slot. So let's add a diffuse color. And in the color here, uh, we need to make the alpha to zero. Okay. So don't leave it black. You have to actually make the alpha go zero. And click OK. Now we need to paint things. So First, let's choose the brush. I'm going to choose this fill brush. I think everyone has it. Um, and we're going to choose the white color. We are also under stroke. We're going to make the spacing into 1%. And down here, we have this option, right? This option, which is space selection masking for painting so basically we can paint the selected faces only so i'm gonna paint this okay so try painting that with the brush like this and to see actually the effects here in the uv image editor you need to go here and choose um, material diffuse color the, the slot that we basically added and as you can see here this is the strip that we painted go to actually you don't need to go to uh, edit mode just try to click on the next face and paint it okay so we're gonna paint only the four the first uh, four faces so you can select the face again by right clicking and then painting and as you can see we have the results so basically to show you what's happening here um, let's go back to object mode okay let's add a lamp maybe I'm going to add a, a hemi lamp and let's add uh, let's go to materials tab okay now go to edit mode and what we are going to do here okay if we select all the these faces here and we drag them okay so gx here if i drag this along the x axis as you can see, the strip is moving, as you can see on the left side. 
So this is what we are going to do. This is the basic idea. We are animating these UVs. Okay? We want to animate them in Godot engine. So anyways, go to object mode, file, export, selection only here in the settings. And let's go to wherever we made our Godot project. I made it here. Okay. Let's name it Helix and then click export OBJ. And also we need to export this material diffuse layer that we painted, this strip. So in the UV image editor, image, save as image, and Let's also name it helix.png. So now we are done with save and now we are done with uh, Blender. Let's go to uh, Godot. Here, I'll click on plus this. Let's add a node and add a spatial node. Let's start with a spatial node. Okay, now add another node, let's add a mesh instance node, okay, um, you have this helix.obj, you can drag and drop it into this um, area, mesh, and now we have the material section, um, click on new spatial material, and edit the material. Okay, now in flags, you first have to enable transparent. In parameters, you have to make the call mode into disabled. Under albedo, you have to take this texture, drag it here, the one we created. Okay, under emission, you have to enable that and make the color white. Also increase that maybe 16. Um, and yeah, next um, we need to start animating the UVs, and the UVs are located here under UV1. Okay, so click on spatial, let's add our animation player and We'll click this icon here to create a new track or animation, sorry. Name it. Select the mesh instance. Again, go under the material here. Go to UV1. And there is this small key icon. I'm not sure I might zoom here. This one here. Click on it to insert a key, create, and now again move this slider to 1 and then offset, make it 1, and then click the key again to insert a keyframe. And yeah, this, and now you can also make it a loop like this from this button here this button and now if you play the animation as you can see this is the basic animation that I did for um, it's the basic technique I used for this animation okay and now you can you know do different things but this is basically the animation and you can also change the color if you want if you go to the emission and you know you can change the color maybe red or pink or i'm not sure but this is basically the technique that i used okay and for example i also um for example for this this animation here I basically use the same technique. I created an object, a 3D model. Yeah, 
I created this 3D model here and basically animated this um, strip here and uh, exported it to Blender and created that animation. And yeah, the, you know, this technique is very effective and you can basically create any effect that um, you're interested in. The possibilities are endless. Okay, you can create lots of things, lots of cool effects using this technique. Thank you for watching and see you in the next time.